Hi, Grace community. My name is Samaria Reedy, and I am the Canvas Unity Advocate here at Grace. Today, I'm going to share a word with you on faith, and I'm going to share some scriptures to help encourage our faith. As believers of God, it is so important for us to remain faithful to him because of who he is, as well as not lose hope. Despite what we may hear and what we may see, we can trust and rest in God for who he is. And so before we get started in diving into the word of God, let's have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity, God, and thank you for your faithfulness. Lord, we love you for who you are and for what you have done, God. Bless our time together. Speak to the hearts, Lord God, of your children, Lord God. Help increase our faith in you, God, and help us not lose hope, God, despite what we may hear or see, Lord God. We know that you are faithful and we can rest in your promises. It is in Jesus' name that we do pray. Amen. So the first scripture that I would like to share with you is found in Hebrews, the 10th chapter, verse 23. It reads, without wavering, let us hold tightly to the hope we say we have, for God can be trusted to keep his promises. That is so reassuring. As children of God, we have a faithful God. He loves us and he cares for us. Therefore, without wavering, without going back and forth, without trying to figure it out, without trying to question it, we can rest in the faithfulness of God. God also reminds us in Habakkuk, the second chapter, verse four, it says that, but the righteous, that's us, his children, will live by their faith. And that's what we stand on each and every day. We rest in the faithfulness and the promises of God because he's God. And whatever he said, it's going to come true. So we can rest in that. You know, as believers of God, if we just have the faith of a mustard seed, which is a small little seed, we can do incredible things through and in Christ Jesus. That's right. You can. You can go before God with a little ounce of faith. And you can cast your cares on him. You can take it to him and you can trust and rest in the faithfulness of God because he is God and he's so loving. He's so gentle and his faithfulness, his faithfulness reassures us every day because we are his children. Again, he reminds us over in Romans, the fourth chapter of our 16, it says, so that's why faith is the key. God promises is given to us as a free gift. God promise it's given to us as a free gift. Faith is the key. As believers of God, our faith journey is completely on faith. It's faith. We're resting on God. We're we trusting in God because we have not seen him yet. However, we stand on his promises through what? His word. And his word is faithful because he is faithful. He is loving. He is caring. And so we can rest in that. He reminds us in John, the 20th chapter, verse 29, he says, blessed are those. That's you. Blessed are those who haven't seen me and believe anyway. So you haven't seen him yet and you believe. So guess what? He says, he, he reads right here, you're blessed. So that's why we don't have to waver back and forth because he said that blessed are those who haven't seen me and believe anyway. God is faithful. Then he, it's like he caps that one off with another verse found in 2 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, verse seven. It says, that is why we live by believing and not by seeing. That's right. We live by believing. That's faith. Knowing that God, you are faithful. You are loving. You are gentle. And every promise, God, that is over my life from you will be fulfilled because I'm your child. We live by believing, not by what we're seeing. So yes, I know we're hearing things and we're reading things in newspapers and in articles and hearing things on the news. However, as children of God, we live by believing versus by what we see. The world goes off of what they see. They react off of what they see. 
as children of God, we have to respond with what? The word of God. Therefore, we believe without seeing. You understand that God is faithful. He's loving. He's caring. He's gentle. Here's another scripture to help encourage our faith. Hebrews, the 11th chapter, verse 17, it reads, It was by faith that Abraham offered Isaac as a sacrifice when God was testing him. Abraham, who had received God's promises, was ready to sacrifice his only son, Isaac. Isaac was a gift from God that Abraham had been waiting on. However, when God was testing him to see, hmm, I'm going to ask Abraham for him back. Would he give him to me? Abraham offered him, here God, here you are. He was ready to give up that promise he had, that he had received from God. Because of his faith, even before Abraham became Isaac's father, when God had told him about the promise, despite Abraham hearing the news at 100 years old that he was going to be a father, he did not waver in his faith. He reminds us of that in his word. So therefore, as children of God, when we are being tested, we do not have to lose hope because God can be trusted to keep his promises. We have a gentle, loving God who cares about us. We do not have to rely on what we are seeing or what we are hearing. We can rest in God and his faithfulness. God continues to remind us through various scriptures about his faithfulness. And one scripture that encourages me is found in Romans, the ninth chapter, verse 33. It reads, but anyone, anyone who believes in him will not be disappointed. That's a promise from God. Anyone who believes in him, that means that I can rest in you, Jesus. Yes, you can. And guess what? You will not be disappointed. Why? Because God is faithful. He says anyone who believes, anyone who believes in him will not be disappointed. How amazing is that? Just knowing that I will never get let down from God. You know what I'm saying? He will never let me down. He will never let you down. So therefore, your faith can remain solid. It can remain rooted in the word of God. It can remain rooted in God because you have a faithful God. And applications that we can apply to our life, one is that the righteous must live by faith. And then Hebrews, the 10th chapter, verse 38, it reads that, and a righteous person will live by faith. But I will not have pleasure in anyone who turns away. We as children of God, we live by faith. It doesn't matter what you're reading. It doesn't matter what you're seeing. God, you are a faithful God. And God, you said in your word that you shall supply all of my needs. So therefore, God, I'm going to rest on that promise. I'm going to stand on that word of God. And as believers of God, it is so important for us to do what? Stand on the word of God. Be unmovable, unshakable when it comes to the word of God. You can rest in the word of God. You can rest on the faithfulness of God. Why? Because he is loving, he's caring, and he will fulfill every promise that he has set and made for your life. You can stand on that. That is one thing that stands true is God and his word. He will never go back on his promises. So therefore, that gives us faith. That gives us hope to trust and rely in him. Our entire faith walk with Christ is depending upon our faith in him. Our faith walk, our journey each day, God, teach me how to rest in you, God. Teach me how to trust in you, God. I know what I'm seeing, God. I know what I'm hearing, God. But guess what, God? I'm going to stand on your word and your faithfulness. God commands us to be strong and courageous. Therefore, we must stand on the word of the Lord without losing hope. We have to stand on the word of God. That's why it's so important each day before your day gets started, it's important to go before the Father. 
Go before him in prayer. Open up his word so that he can speak life into you and your situation. So that he can reassure you of who he is. His faithfulness. And in his faithfulness, we learn that God, you are so good. You are so true, Lord God. Everything that you said, God, you're going to fulfill within my life. That's why it's so important to go before him. And it says, without wavering, we don't have to lose hope. We can stand and rely on the word of God. Trusting in the Lord opens doors to endless possibilities. He says in Hebrews, the 10th chapter, verse 35, do not... Do not throw away this confident trust in the Lord. No matter what happens, remember the great reward it brings you. That's again, that's found in Hebrews, the 10th chapter, verse 35. He says, no matter what happened, that's what he says. Don't throw away that confident trust that you have in the Lord. No matter what circumstances try to come your way, don't throw it away. Don't throw away that confident trust in the Lord. Don't throw it away. You just rest in God's promises. You rest in the word of God. You go before him in prayer. Spend time with him. Ask him to increase your faith in him, God. Teach me, God, how to not waver in my walk with you, Lord God. Help me to stand firm on your word. Another word of encouragement is that we must understand that our faith is built upon the word of God. He reminds us in Romans, the 10th chapter, verse 17, it reads, Yet faith comes from listening to this message of good news, the good news about Christ. Again, that's found in Romans, the 10th chapter, verse 17. It says, Yet faith comes from listening to the good news. What is the good news? The word of God. How do I tap into that word of God? I tap into his word by spending time with him. You spend time in his word, then you'll learn more about his faithfulness and more about who he is. God is faithful and he loves you. So you do not have to lose hope regardless of what your circumstances are. You have a faithful and loving God. We can trust in him. We can trust in the reassurance of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We can stand on his promises. Again, he gives us another promise. Again, found in Romans, the ninth chapter, verse 33, it says, But anyone, anyone, again, anyone who believes in him will not be disappointed. How awesome is that? That's a promise that we can hold on to. Anyone who believes in our Lord and Savior, anyone who believes in our Heavenly Father, they will not be disappointed. I encourage you today, brothers and sisters in the Lord, to please do not lose hope in Him. God is a faithful, loving, gentle, and caring God. And I'm not just saying this because I've heard this. I'm saying this because I know and I have experienced his love and his faithfulness within my life. I am a testimony of the faithfulness of Jesus Christ. He is awesome. He is loving. He is caring. And he cares so much about you. I encourage you to spend time with him in his word Get before him in prayer, love on him in worship because he is an amazing God and he has great things in store for your life. Regardless of your current circumstances, you do not have to lose hope. You have a loving God. He cares for you. He has amazing things in store for you. So I encourage you, do not lose hope. Without wavering, we can go boldly to our Heavenly Father. Cast all of your cares on Him. He cares so much about you. And He wants to do amazing things through you and for you. So I ask you, just be reassured again for Romans, the ninth chapter, verse 33. But anyone who believes in Him will not be disappointed. So God is faithful, he's loving, and he loves you. Let's have a word of prayer. 
Heavenly Father, thank you for our time together, Lord God. Thank you for your presence, Lord, and thank you for your faithfulness, God. I ask you to encourage my brothers and sisters in Christ, Lord God, that you'll speak life into their situation, that you'll show yourself like never before within their lives, God. Encourage them where they have been torn down and broken, Lord God, because of your faithfulness, we can rest assured in you, God. We love you, we adore you, and we thank you for this day and this time together. It is in Jesus' name that we do pray. Amen. Have a wonderful day.